to all viewers of Crypto Times TV. Today we are happy to bring you another overview of what's been happening in the crypto space since last Friday. One Chinese blockchain investor condemns the crypto community. The actors are a bunch of crooks and the audience is just plain fools. So is the proper description of the blockchain industry according to Li Shaolai, a Bitcoin billionaire and investor from China. He didn't mean it to go public though, because it was a private dialogue secretly recorded and then uploaded to YouTube as well as a number of Chinese social networking platforms. In the audio, Mr. Shaolai slammed some of the country's biggest crypto startups as scams. His wrath didn't even spare NEO and Binance. And he was constantly emphasizing his personal contribution to the formation of such major projects like Quantum and Big One. Needless to say, a lot of folks have been infuriated, while others have just ignored Shao Lai's tirade as not constructive. An intriguing 33,000 Bitcoin were moved last weekend. Remember just a few episodes back we reported a transaction of 48,000 Bitcoin. We then connected it with the expiry date of CME futures, and we assumed that address belonged to someone shorting their contracts. Back then, Bitcoin dipped considerably, so their profits must have been quite impressive. We always try to keep an eye on transactions like that one, and yesterday another one came to our attention. This time it amounted to over 33,000 Bitcoin. It's hard to tell why the owner moved those funds all at once, but this event coincided with a sudden spike of the currency. The price went up from $6,600 to $6,850. We're still looking into the details and possible links to this transaction, so if you have any idea, let us know in the comment section. Facebook takes further steps towards researching blockchain technology. A recently established team within Facebook has now gotten a new head. Evan Cheng has been working with Facebook as a senior engineer for three years and has now taken a new position to head the blockchain research group. Since the team started last May, it was managed by the head of Facebook's messaging app, David Marcus. He's also a board member at Coinbase. Apparently, he saw potential in the technology, so he decided to employ Evan, who has a great deal of expertise in programming. So now, after partially lifting the ban on cryptocurrency-related ads on its platform, do you think the social networking giant is up to something big? And will we ever see a Facebook ICO? Crypto Project has purchased a flashy domain for $2 million. Back in 1993, a cryptography researcher at the University of Pennsylvania, Matt Blaze, registered a domain name that years later would become a very attractive place for a lot of commercial projects. Mr. Blaze has received many lucrative offers for his domain, but never as much as what the company behind the Monica token put on the table. We know the Switzerland-based enterprise due to its partnership with Visa and its impeccable reputation. Although we haven't received any comments from the previous owner, we assume the offer was too tempting to turn it down. The next step for Monaco is rebranding. It will soon be dubbed after the domain, Crypto.com. The token has seen a significant rise over the past week, ascending from $6.72 on July 2nd to around $9.10 at the moment. Can you put your crypto trading journey in just three words? A prominent trader and crypto enthusiast Steve Burns came up with this challenge on Twitter last week. And over 1500 users have responded to the call to describe their most epic fails, so the challenge has quickly gone viral. Here are just a few examples that we came across. Alert said buy, never for long, sell the dip, and followed Steve Burns. And just two days later, the trader followed up in his therapy session and prompted his audience to compile a happy trading story. It didn't get as trendy, however, which probably goes to show that trading is a little bit short of successful players in these difficult times. And for now, what is your story? We hope you enjoy this Monday's compilation, and we'll be back with more news tomorrow. Until then, have a nice day!